Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or evening, or afternoon, or good whatever, wherever you are. This is going to be uh, like like all of my sat almost all of my Saturday streams. This is going to be kind of a scatterbrained one, as I have uh, plans later in the day that I, I I hop off of this stream and go straight into. So it may this stream might wind up being shorter than normal. I don't know, but I don't really have much of an agenda. It seems that the way these streams go is like the first hour. It's usually two hours, and the first hour is you know one thing, and then the the next hour is the uh, is another thing. So the the kind of the first thing on the list for here. <laughs> hey Farron, hey Charlie. Is talking about Ubuntu and seeing if I can customize it and make it behave the way that I need it I need it to <laughs> Mar Mar Marquise Marquise I don't remember how to say your name I'm sorry <laughs> I remember streaming Overwatch and I said the same thing on the other channel <laughs> There's a you know an, an interesting challenge for streamers is that people oftentimes have names that I've never said out loud before. I can read it, but saying it out loud is is always something different. That's that's fun. That's always fun. Make it look and feel better. Well, to be honest with you, I don't think Ubuntu looks that bad. Like theme wise, look wise, looks wise, I think it's pretty good. But it's it's the it's the behavior of GNOME that I don't like. And you guys, you guys, can, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say I hate GNOME. I would say that I'm unimpressed with a lot of the things that the leadership chooses to do with GNOME. I think the workflow is interesting, but for the way I have my monitors set up and just everything, it, it, I, it ends up working against me. And uh, I don't like that. So the reason why I'm looking at Ubuntu in the first place is, let's just give you guys something fun to look at. So the reason why I'm looking at Ubuntu in the first place is because KDE is, um, you know, I don't want to call it unstable, but sometimes it works really good and sometimes it doesn't. And that's the name of the game with KDE, especially if you have NVIDIA hardware, which I do. So I'm playing a game and then, you know, like a game like Overwatch, and I go from 60 frames to 45 frames. Or even worse, it says 60 frames and I'm getting 45. And I can clearly feel it stuttering. And I tried to build a snap last week and it, it something was wrong and... I was like, you know what, I think I just need to be closer to upstream Ubuntu, because KDE Neon is like its own thing. It's based on Ubuntu LTS, but they kind of do their own thing. It, but as a distro, it's awful Ubuntu. Uh, awful Ubuntu. Only on NVIDIA hardware, I've never had any issues with Plasma and AMD. Well, you know, I don't use AMD, so... What about XFCE? I, you know what, I tried XFCE in in a VM and on my laptop and I thought it, it just d didn't it does not do what I need it to I have I have um, I think I have reasonable requirements for my desktop and uh, XFCE cannot fit those as a lightweight workstation living inside of a VM it's fine but it's something where I, I need certain features um, it's just not a no-go why not pop OS because pop OS is not upstream it's not it's a fork of Ubuntu, and they favor flat packs over snaps. Because I'm still, I still maintain a snap, and possibly more. I still do stuff with Snapcraft, so I need first. I mean, to to consume snaps is one thing, but to actually build them consistently and reliably, I need to. I, I feel like I need to be closer to upstream Ubuntu. So that's why something like Pop won't work. I don't really like Pop's theme either. Like. I, re this, I really like Ubuntu, just vanilla Ubuntu's theme. I think it's really nice. You're the first one that, you, that you've seen that likes snaps. I mean, the people, the people that like snaps and the people that know about snaps, they don't say anything because there's just so much overwhelming misinformation about snaps and Snapcraft that there, you, you can't like... 
I've tried to talk about it, but it's like, you know, some people hear it and some people don't. But there's a tremendous amount of misinformation about Snapcraft, and I'm, I'm kind of done talking about it. I've tried. Other Snapcrafters have also tried to, like, set the record straight, and just the same people are like, huh, uh it's proprietary. And it's like, I don't know how many times I can say it's not proprietary before. I'm just, I'm done trying to have this conversation. People just don't listen. But anyways, yeah, and, and I'm not I'm not going to go on about it. It's just it's a requirement for my workstation to be able to build snaps, and uh, I don't want to be downstream waiting for um, things to happen. I guess <clears throat> you're you're all about independent distros like Fedora and SUSE. I don't know if you're joking or, um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure if you're if you're being a troll there. <laughs> You've tried snaps, but you don't like it. Yeah, I mean the snap that I work on is a server enterprise thing, so it's not it's not something you guys would ever use. But um, yeah, for for the most part, I like <clears throat> flat packs for desktop stuff. You wish you could use Ubuntu without snap? Just purge snapd and you're done. Just do uh, apt purge snapd. Of course, it won't let me, but that's all you'd have to do to get rid of snaps, and it's done. So. <clears throat> oh, independent is in based not not based on anything else. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. So let's let's get to theming. Let's get going. Fedora sucks. I don't think Fedora sucks. Just has a different use case. I think that I think it's a matter of using the distro for its intended purpose. And I don't think that Fedora is a good daily desktop distro. I think it's a really good workstation. I think that it can make a really good server. But for somebody with low technical skills that just wants a solid desktop, I don't think Fedora is the best choice. You can use it, but I don't think it's the best choice. Uh-oh. You know what? I just realized something. Am I echoing? No. Okay, it's turned off. Just make sure my microphones are all set up right. Okay, so what's going on here? Why Ubuntu? Because KDE has been wearing me down, and I need I need to have upstream Ubuntu to do my work, basically. <laughs> Fedora doesn't suck. DNF sucks. I I like DNF. <laughs> I like DNF. It it uh it has slow mirrors, that's true. But yeah. I like it. So I guess we'll start with my grievances about GNOME, and maybe you guys can help me fix them. So it's not full screen stuff. I can show you right here my first grievance. When I click this, it doesn't minimize. In fact, it, it doesn't do anything. When a window is is selected, clicking it again does nothing. I think that it should minimize it. That's what it does. That's how I have KDE set up. So, like, I'll open OBS, and I would want to minimize it by clicking it again, and that's that's not what happens. So, how do I fix that? Hey, Mitchell, how's it going? DNF slow. <clears throat> dash to dock. That is an option. We can try dash to dock. I have so I installed this on Monday and I haven't really done much of anything. The only thing I've done is I've added um, the fuzzy time, which is great. <laughs> Disable Ubuntu dock and install dash to dock. Hey Alan, there is a G settings key that you can change to make it work. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I I I request help for doing something on GNOME and suddenly the, the chat is moving almost too fast for me to follow. Okay, so should we do, do I even have gconf? I'm not sure I do. No, I don't. That's not surprising. I closed the terminal though. That is surprising. gconf, is it? I bet it has some fancy name. gconf called something. Oh. I don't really want to look for packages to install. Gconf 2, is that it? Or is there a UI? Is it Gconf Editor? 
Or is it deconf? Isn't it deconf now? <clears throat> deconf editor. Yeah. To be fair, it would be a lot better if Ubuntu took some behaviors from Unity. Yeah, I like I liked Unity. I mean, it's it's close. It definitely looks like Unity. I like having the panel on the left and having it just like stay there. That's cool. Man. Oh, you know what? I ate a muffin before. Ah, that was a bad move. I I decided to indulge upon a muffin before this stream and now my mouth is like this this is not it's not good <laughs> whoops okay so see that's that's some nice polish that that ubuntu does is when this came up this little i think it's ubuntu polish because i don't recall kde doing this but when this popped up it had like a, a nice gentle notification sounds i actually like notification sounds but most of them are really like really trebly and it's it's just like you're getting punched in your eardrum like if i'm chilling here and listen to music i i want to hear for notifications like if i'm getting emails <clears throat> or messages on slack but i don't want to be like violated by this terrible noise, you know? Like if I'm listening to some outdoor sounds or something and all of a sudden it's like, you know, like bells are ringing, that sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so where was I going with this? I was looking at decomp and I was talking about we were going to do the dash thing. Uh, dash panel, dash to panel, what is it? Dash to panel. Hey. Nice to see some GNOME users. What, as if there's not enough of them? <laughs> Pretty sure GNOME is the most popular and common desktop, which is fine, I guess. Did you try to move the mouse scroll on icons? Uh, Jeezy needs to read the comment. I know the, the comments and, and everything. I, I missed it. There's there's too much happening here. Deconf editor unity. Yeah. <laughs> sash to panel. Turn it in uh, sash. Okay, so let's go back to gnome tweaks. Why did it do that? Hold up. What is going on here? Why why is the search thing on my left? Why what? Oh, I have a pan. I have two panels now. Oh, this was another gripe I had. I can't really show this to you. I guess maybe I can. Here, let's do this. I think that I can easily modify this. I've got two monitors. So this this is a very specific workflow. Um, SFB, um, for, the, for some of the work that I do, I need upstream Ubuntu because um, if I need to do any work on Snaps or Snapcraft or something, I don't want to fight with being downstream that that's kind of what I felt like happened on neon like I tried to build something and it didn't work and it was just weird and like if I'm like if I'm working hourly I can't be fighting with my desktop like that's that's a very important distinction if you're just goofing around on your own time that's fine but when you're working like basically on somebody else's time if I go to build a snap and it's like no something's wrong I, I cannot I can't debug that during work time. You know, it needs to work out of the box. So I at least need an option to be like, oh, something's wrong. I'm going to go back to Ubuntu and do it there. So that's why I'm on Ubuntu right now. Now, whether I stay with Ubuntu or just dual boot is another question altogether. I'd like to just stick with one, one, uh, one desktop and one distro. But um, yeah, m maybe, but uh, we'll see. I might have to modify this a lot. So anyways, I've got two monitors. I've got a panel on the bottom. And the way I like having things set up is is uh, each application has its own tile down here, you know? God, I hate these tooltips. Oh, I hate these tooltips. I know I can turn them off. I'll, I'll get there. But I hate these. Look how big it is, too. Like, this is obnoxious. If you just move your mouse down here, like, oh, I need to click down here or something. And now this pops up. And you're like, oh, I got to get rid of it. And now 
thing it's like oh it's just it's not good so OBS is on this monitor hey I'm glad that you guys everybody that it looks like there's a whole bunch of first timers here I'm, I'm glad what's different about this time was it um, is this just like a better day for you or did I put it on Twitter at a better time or something as we have a lot more people here than normal but anyways so I've got OBS here and if I move it to my other monitor like so I want this icon to go away and I want it to appear on my other panel that may sound like a small feature like it, like oh that's not a big it's a huge deal to me because of my workflow because that's just how I have my windows and my monitors and stuff set up I've, I've got to have it so that's that's a thing and hopefully we can do it with dashed panel maybe this is the thing but now the the panel doesn't look like Ubuntu it doesn't have that purple gradient that I like so now we have to figure out how to get that back <clears throat> it's almost uh, 8 o'clock 8 p.m in Greece a bit more convenient you finally had some free time sort of you're hiding out in the basement hey you do what you got to do Mitchell you're on your lunch break I hope works going well uh, I think people are just more talkative no we have like almost we have like 65 70 viewers last stream we only had 30 we have double the number of people watching I guess we're, we're talking about gnome and that's more interesting <laughs> oh gosh wow what do you think of the latest Nvidia driver so that's something I'm I want to try on Ubuntu oh no my redshift just went out you guys can't see it though it's not that big of a deal uh, I'm just gonna use 440 I'm not using the Nvidia or the graphics PPA I just want to like a non I don't want to screw around with this workstation too much I don't want to make it unstable or do unsupported stuff so I'm trying to keep it simple now how do I my I I kind of want the redshift back but I get, if you guys can't see it it's not that big of a deal interesting content but you don't like the avatar okay well your options are not to watch you will not watch or you could just not say anything and get over it but you have options so that's good it is 11:39 p.m. in Vietnam hope everything is well over there I bet it's warm huh but it's really warm out there it's not really morning okay so let's start tweaking the desktop did I close tweaks again does does gnome tweaks and gnome settings share like can you not have them open no you can I feel like I've run into a weird problem with that I have another issue with settings we'll get to in just a minute um, you know would have been smart for me to write a list down but uh, I don't always do smart things <laughs> Puffin, you're enjoying the, the dev podcast that I did? Oh, boy. I'm really, really happy that you enjoy that. If you guys didn't know, I have a I have a SoundCloud thing, uh, and I did a podcast. I think there's three or four episodes where I, me and a friend interviewed some developers that we worked with, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, are your windows laggy when you drag them around? Are they? If, it, if they are lagging, it's because NVIDIA flipping is enabled. That's unfortunate. Um, but anyway, so the podcast, yeah, I, I was doing that b when I was between jobs and I had a bit more time and I would like to continue that, but I don't know. Um, it's it's a pretty, it requires a lot of time because, you know, it's like an hour per episode and me and my friend have to coordinate. So let's throw another 30 minutes there and then I have to edit it all. And editing podcasts is uh, uh a lot it's it's way more work than editing a video I'll tell you that right now hearing that my friend started in Corvallis hit pretty close to home yeah there's a university down there I always get um, UFO and OSU confused <laughs> but yeah that's uh it's it's a uh, that's all home this whole area the Pacific Northwest is all home good stuff yeah, so we just got our first COVID patient after 100 days today. Damn. Oh, you went to OSU for CS? That's fantastic. That's really, really cool. I have a, my, I have a really, really good friend, somebody that I would love to have on the show, actually. A really, really great friend went to uh, OSU for CS. And uh, he's, a, he's a really, really dear friend, and I would love to, 
uh, have him on the show and just like we we ride we've rid motorcycles together and stuff. He's a really really good guy, and I worked with him at Shiftwise, the company that you've heard me talk about on the podcast. And he would just be a blast. Oh man, I could just start. I could keep talking, but I will not. <laughs> Can you share what my job is? Yeah, I'm a full-time software developer. I work, I do mostly DevOps and infrastructure stuff. What does OSU and CS mean? Uh, Oregon State University is OSU and CS is computer science. Am I going to change the window manager? I don't think you, you can't change GNOME Shell. If you're using GNOME, you gotta use GNOME Shell. You're currently using XFCE 4.15. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean it's it's been a it's been okay. I was using it yes I was using GNOME yesterday all day at work, and it it got so unresponsive that pushing the meta key to do the expose it was like two seconds after I pressed the key. It was weird. It was very very strange. <clears throat> uh, you haunted by ghost. You just finished watching a you just finished a router stream and a router and switch final like for school. Good lord, that sounds like a a lot of work. I'm glad that I'm <laughs> I'm you're you're trying you're you're watching me try to tweak gnome, but uh, at this point I'm just like kind of reading the comp, reading the chat, which is fine. I love talking to you guys, but my ability to multitask is uh, limited at best. <clears throat> so let's turn this off. Why did I want to turn that off? There is a reason I turned that off, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, uh, Tree, you asked me if I could um, use the mouse wheel through these, and it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, middle mouse button doesn't do anything. The mouse wheel doesn't do anything. Once you click this and it pops open, it does. It just you're stuck with it. And I, I think that that's kind of a silly... That that feels like something's incomplete. Like, you've got all these, ta all these tiles, and you can right-click... And this is weird. I guess if you have, like, I've, like, two of these open. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I don't know. It just feels incomplete. Like, clicking them should do something. But anyways, yeah. So, I love the look of the panel. But, and you can apparently only have one of them, which is a drag. So, okay. I think we've, we've, wh why did it move to the other monitor? Oh, all displays. You can have two. Oh, okay. That's cool, but that that still means that my my tiles are going to be duplicated. Like I have an OBS tile right here, but I also have one on the other screen, and that's that's a no go for me. Okay. Anyways, so let's get let's get back on track and let's see if we can get Dash to Panel to work. <clears throat> yeah, Alan said that some of this stuff was configurable in Gconf or Dconf. So. Oh boy. What are you guys doing? Uh, it's really interesting to hear all the impressive things that, that you've, you've all done. The bar is set so high. Well, okay, so... <laughs> I'll, I was, I was going to tell a story, but I think I'll save it for the podcast. It's a, it's a pretty good story. But yeah, don't, don't feel like um, you have to do all of this stuff. I actually had a conversation with a friend of mine about my first time uh, working and I think I talked about that on the podcast but like sometimes it's just sink or swim you, like you know university can't prepare you for everything it, it can give you the basics you know it, it gives you more than the basics it gives you everything you need to survive but it's really up to you as an individual to sink or swim so and sometimes you have to sink a couple times before you learn how to swim like if you get your first job and you just like totally you know like miss everything and it sucks it doesn't mean that you're a bad developer it just means that that was maybe not the right time or that was a bad job or you know there's a lot of stuff so you remember there's an option in gnome tweaks or something uh for what something else that bugs me is i don't like the size of this mouse cursor if you notice on my other streams the kde mouse cursor is quite a bit bigger uh uh-oh Click that small cog wheel. Oh boy, where is it? Oh, you mean here? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll we'll get there. Yeah, this is how we we modify dash to panel. But really quick, going back to the the mouse settings, maybe you guys know how to do this. How do you increase the size of the mouse cursor? Like it's 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 not. I just I don't want to like 
you know, my monitors are pretty big and I don't want to like scan the screen for my mouse every time. I like to just know where it is. Can you change it in here maybe? You can change the... I mean, that's fine. We can do that. Oh, that's t this is like the opposite of what I want. Well, the red actually isn't that bad. Well, on black, it's not good. Anyways, let's just do... Oh, man. What? Hold up. What was it doing? Oh, that was weird. Maybe that was my mouse sticking or something. Okay, this is better. But I don't like the idea that I have to change the mouse cursor theme to change the mouse size. It's in GNOME settings and accessibility. Yeah, but when you turn on accessibility, it 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 it's it's just weird. Like, let me let me try that. DMZ white. Okay, I like this cursor. And where is accessibility? Universal access, large text, zoom, typing, pointing and clicking, double click delay. Actually, it's not there. It can be changed in deconf. I, I know all this stuff can. That's like editing a config file. I'd like to avoid that, but if I have to, I guess I have to. I'm not seeing it. Oh, cursor size. There we go. Hey. Oh, now I feel like grandpa with that giant cursor. There you go. I mean, I could I could probably roll with this. It's weird that these are child windows. Like these are legit child windows of of GNOME software. I would expect them, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting. It just seems weird. Hey, where's the shadow? Did this not have a shadow? Oh well. Okay. Anyways, back on track again. Dash to panel. So I've got two panels, which is cool. <laughs> I, I like this. Display the main panel on monitor two. Display panels on all monitors. And it's a, sw it's a switch. Why not just have a third setting here for all or something? <laughs> DMZ white doesn't have much of a shadow. All right. I, I see the chat going, but I, I've, I, I have, if I miss your question, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's that I've, there's a lot going on here. Okay. So this is, this is that. Oh God. Oh, this is, I see. Okay. Okay. I kind of dig this. All right. All right. I'm digging this. This is cool. This is a little weird. This should be there. But now there's a gap here. I don't like that gap very much, but it'll do. So behavior maybe? Show favorite icons, show running icons. Oh no. Isol oh wait, wait a second. Is this what I want? Oh, this is it. This is it, fellas. This is exactly what I want right there. That's it. Notice the icon at the bottom there? Watch. This is exactly what I wanted. Sweet. That's wonderful. I'm really, really happy about that. Let's isolate workspaces too. So now we can... Where'd the workspaces go? Ah, that's what that is. I see. The main panel is... The main panel is this thing and uh, the search and stuff. Hey, Timothy, how's it going? Robert, change the icon size in the... Pa I like these. I like giant icons. Like, I think it's fine. And it makes it so I don't need my glasses to see them. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that bad. A, like, my eyesight isn't that bad, but I, do, I don't want to be straining just to see what the hell an icon is. I have no shame. Running. Nice. Oh, I'm digging this. Okay. So I think that this solves most of my issues. I will tinker and tweak that with this later because there's probably a whole bunch of stuff I want to fine tune. Pro tip, you can choose that's what I'm looking for, Farron. That's exactly what I was that's what I was looking for. You can choose the background color of the panel in uh, panel settings. There's no, you mean this set, these settings here, like this maybe? 
So now it's black. Maybe like this. Ah, there it is. That's it. We just make it uh, slightly transparent so it brings the purple through. Uh, why wolf? Wear cynical why wolf. This is what this is what you were gonna do this weekend. <laughs> it's awesome. This is fun. Like the it, non non Linux users, non sophisticated users, not non sophisticated desk. Uh, what's the best way of saying it? Non sophisticated users of operating systems and desktops don't know the joy of of customizing and tweaking your desktop in so many different ways. It's so fun. It is really, really fun. I was, I was, look, I've been looking forward to this stream all week. So I'm like, I, I gotta, I gotta lay off. Like, don't change anything. Don't change any settings because we're gonna do it on stream. It even has dynamic panel transparency from older. Screams in EOS. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> okay, so this is this is great. We are on the right track now. If you but you like it once and then forget it if you if you're not a distro hopper, yeah, that's a thing. So um, audio settings. I constantly change my audio inputs and outputs throughout the day. Like before this stream, I was listening through my soundbar, and now I've got my headphones on. And GNOME doesn't have an easy way of changing stuff on the fly. I've used an extension in the past, dot .files, audio, is it audio output switcher? E, uh, elementary OS's Elementary OS's is what? It, what is technically superior? Which thing? Uh, that extension's a must. What extension? Which one? What did I miss? Trying to customize GDM like changing a wallpaper? Uh, I th is, it, is this the one that everybody's using now? Oh, dynamic panel transparency. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Is, does this say transparent? I don't mind that this stays transparent, honestly. But if I change my background, it'll become something else. Hey, eg, Farron and V learning towards Kubuntu. How does that compare with GNOME? I, honestly, I would say unless you unless you really have a, a reason to use KDE, like you're really interested in it, or it has some features that you've got to have. I I would just if you have NVIDIA hardware, I would just avoid it. Like, to be totally honest with you, if you're willing to put up with the niggling issues and bugs that KDE has with NVIDIA stuff, go for it. Like, I put up with them. I, I do it. But I wouldn't, recommend, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. The extension to change input is sound input and audio. The fact that you have to install a third-party app, to, I yeah, I I agree with that. It seems silly that you have to install a third-party app to to customize your OS. I I think that that's a little obscene. You're not on elementary OS six, really? That's crazy. This is why you get a nice AMD Radeon card. I've had too many issues, too many graphical issues with AMD cards to to even. I just want my stuff to stay out of the box. Is to work. I want my stuff to work out of the box. And um, I, one thing I don't have is is graphics incompatibility issues with NVIDIA, so that's that's why I use it. Plasma sucks with NVIDIA. I stay away from it. Yeah, it's it's a good choice. I don't blame you. Is Elementary six out yet? So I did a I did a review on one of the elementaries, and I'm going to be honest. I don't remember which one it was. I feel like I feel like I reviewed Elementary OS six, but. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Do we're like th we're, how many episodes into Distro Delves are we? Forty-two, and that's not including season one. So I've looked at a lot of distros. Hey, Normie, you want more streams? I want more streams too. I just wish I had more time and energy. Okay, so you want 
audio switcher, audio output switcher, audio input switcher, advanced audio menu. Jeez. Oh, what are these extensions written in? I do like that it links straight to the GitHub page. Oops. What container? In a container tab? What the hell's that? I don't know what that is. It's JavaScript. Should we trust JavaScript? What do you guys think? Should we try to avoid extensions that are written in JavaScript? Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> It was elementary five. Thank you, Reed, for knowing what I'm doing, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I need you guys to remind me and tell me what I'm doing, because I don't know. This video is making you want to switch back to GNOME after being on Budgie. I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you if you did that with epic new features, like right-clicking the desktop, putting it on dark mode. That is an epic feature. I have a hard time getting excited about features that are cool, but should have been implemented years ago. It's like, I mean, that is cool. You can now change it to a dark theme. But why did it take you so long to do it? Like, it's something that people have been asking for forever, and it's only now being implemented. What do you like on Ubuntu? Snaps aren't universal and are really broken. Oh, boy. Ubuntu is kind of out of date and not very stable. Oh, boy. Why do you use it and recommend it? Because I need stability. And all of the work I do is done on Ubuntu, so it would be silly. In fact, at my current gig, we have a we have a local build system that is like it's a make it's it's just like Make and Python, and it does all this crazy it was Salt. It runs Salt and does all this crazy stuff. But it looks at your distro to figure out what you need, and you know what distro it looks for, Ubuntu. And I'm not going to change it and extend it just so it'll support, you know, another operating system like that wouldn't be. It's not a, it, it's not a good use of company time, obviously, and it's not a good use of my time. So I'm not doing it. I'll just use when in Rome, do as the Romans do, as they say. Avoid JS means to avoid GNOME. I think the shell itself is written in JS, isn't it? They're all written in JavaScript. Is that right? They don't do Python at all? You've been there? Oh god, what did I what did I say? A container is in a Docker container? No, a container is in like a sandbox, like a uh a, I I don't know. <laughs> Somebody can explain it better than me. Maybe the extension you need is the sound input and output chooser. I didn't see one by that name. I just saw audio output. I mean, am I missing it? It's entirely possible that I I'm just I don't see it here. No, there's nothing there by that name. You've been there. Uh, you're using an RX uh, XT, but do you play the same games as me? That's the question. Can you describe my day job? Uh, doing which thing, I guess. Um, one thing is about uh, adding features to this very complicated and difficult to work with uh, snap. <laughs> That's one project. I don't really do that much anymore. I mean, I'm, I do, but um, that's not my full-time gig. My full-time gig is DevOps. So make sure, making sure that the infrastructure that an application runs on is working good and is continuing to work good and doesn't cost a fortune because cloud stuff can be expensive. And fixing bugs and adding features to the infrastructure workflow, whether it's Jenkins, whether it's monitoring and alerting, something like that. So yeah, that's that's it. Just go to a backlog and and take a pit, pull a ticket out of a tree and say this is what I'm working on today. It's it's pretty good. Vala though isn't that a gnome language? Uh, search for sound. This is sound input and output chooser. Why do you guys prefer this one over the others? So we've got pulse audio shortcuts. This is not what I want. We've got that's not what I want. This doesn't have a screenshot. Uh, I need more than that. Audio. This looks, this is a really old screenshot. You guys sure? Well, people are up eight hours ago. All right, let's give it a shot. 
sort by usage or something. Do what? Firefox containers, search for sound instead of audio. Uh, what is that command for Linux to translate everything into cute talk? I don't know. I've never even heard of that. I'm not surprised it exists, but I've never heard of it. You miss DevOps? Dude, Timothy, seriously. I do too. I worked at this company last year and it was like, it wasn't, it was building DevOps from scratch, but it was more like app dev ops. It, it just, it wasn't what I was looking for. It wasn't, it wasn't really DevOps. I mean, it was, but it was just different. There was a lot of app dev, which is fine, but that's, that's not really what I'm that good at. And then I got laid off and then I did freelancing stuff and it was like more QA sort of work. And then I got this new, this other gig working on a snap, which is fine, but it's, it's, <laughs> It's not really that fun. It's just a pain in the ass to work with. And then going to this 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 new company and and working on infrastructure again. I'm like, oh my god, this is my calling. This is what I do. This is what I'm good at. You know, it's a matter of working on stuff that you're good at. Like I know that I'm good at infrastructure, building snaps and stuff. Eh, I can do it. I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at it, but I can do it. <laughs> it's all it's all fine using slurm is really really weird yeah slurm is slurm is really strange it is it is very odd <laughs> it is really strange uh timothy you like touching stuff both on app dev and sysops but it's kind of boring just doing updates patching it yeah i, I can see that I can see that. You love my previous job. It was bare metal infrastructure. Speaking of bare metal, have you guys ever heard of uh, Mass? Have you guys ever heard of Mass? Moss? Mass? I always say it wrong. One of the clients that I, I uh, did work for use, used Mass. Is there anybody in, in the comments or in the chat or whatever that has used Mass? It's bare metal provisioning stuff. Pretty cool. It was the first time I had ever used it. It's the first time I'd ever seen it in action. But it's pretty damn cool. That's a thing. You've, yeah, you haven't used it. it like, it's, it's one of those tools. Like, you couldn't just use it on your desktop. Like, some tools, you can just get it going and play around with it on your desktop. But I don't, you can't really do that with something like uh, Mass. Okay. Anyways, let's get let's let's do this. Okay, this is uh Why do I have multi-channel input and headphone microphone? Why do I have what is happening? Multi-channel input. Am I only mono right now? Is it like Ansible or something? I don't think, think so. so. I, I mean, mean Ansible, Ansible is now, now I'm now, now I'm echoing. Ah oh, oh, shit. shit. Double, Double echo. echo. Oh, oh you guys, you told me to use, use this. this. Oh shit. Oh no, damage control. Ah. It's look, it's coming through the desktop. Ooh. Un momento. What the fuck, dude? I think it's working now. <laughs> what the hell? You guys, I took your advice and it screwed it up. Now I sound deeper? I've heard that happen before. Like, the, my pitch changes? Obviously, my pitch doesn't change. It's fixed now? Okay. Don't blame us. I am going to blame you guys because you told me to get that, get that extension. And it screwed my audio up. There. Okay. Is there anything else I, I wonder? Oh, oh my god. My voice sounds different now. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, now I sound more handsome. Oh god, I've gone down in pitch. My the key has changed. Oh shit, I don't know how to fix this. Leave it with the deeper pitch. Oh my god. 
watch somebody watching on YouTube skips to this part of the video and they don't know what happened and my my voice is just different. Oh man, let me see if this fixes it. Hold on. I know you guys some of you guys like it, but let, bear with me here. <laughs> Hello? Is this better? <laughs> Did this change anything? I don't know if this is something I can fix. You you don't notice any different? It's so funny how how individuals pr different people uh, hear differently, you know? Like, some people are like, I don't hear it. And other people are like, oh, yeah, you sound deeper. Like, how can the, there be two completely different things being experienced differently by two different people? So it makes the, the human condition so fascinating. Like, what I'm hearing and seeing and touching is so different from all of you, and each and every one of you is different. Anyways, that was kind of like a random aside. So I think that we might be done with this. So I've got my, I think, honestly, it seems like dash to panel fixed all of the issues that I had. Different microphones, or different headphones. My green is not your green. Yeah, you talk about looking at colors. Well, why can't your dog experience the world differently? Oh, I guarantee that my dogs experience the worlds differently. Philosophy delves. I was huge. I got so deep into philosophy in my early 20s that I, I didn't I never really was interested in university but like going to a college but I was seriously considering getting a degree and then I I don't I looking back in retrospective I don't know actually you know what let's let's get a game or something going so I can ruminate about some stories because sitting and looking at the gnome desktop is cool and everything but let's let's try to get some other stuff going on here this folder has changed I don't I, get out of here yeah Okay. You're an existentialist. I am too. <clears throat> that was the the first the first school of philosophy that really grabbed me was existentialism. And you know the 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 branches of absurdism and nihilism and all of that other stuff that that really captivated me and uh, I got really into it. And I that's probably the closest thing that I identify with today. But anyways, let's I want to show you a problem that uh, I don't know if Alan is still here. Anybody that works on snaps, but I saw I saw that Alan made a commit to um, uh, RetroArch. Snap run is it RetroArch? What is it called? But there is a uh, a bug I cannot work around. Well, actually, I bet it's just, it's probably just path. Do I like Nietzsche? Um, I mean, I, I don't, uh, he's fine. I remember him being really, like, that was more, that was more, was that more nihilist? I don't remember. I'd need a refresh. I don't really remember the, the people. I remember, like, Albert and, and stuff, but. You love the Elder Scrolls theme? Thank you. Now you're just an otter tree we're just screwing with you hardcore mode using gnome without extensions that'd be basically fedora and fedora's default workflow isn't you know it's not terrible i don't know okay so this is retro arch and the problem that i have with it so let's load up nintendo and all of my cores or all of my roms are kept in games i don't know if you guys know you guys noticed this one of your degrees is in philosophy, Mitchell. That's awesome. That's really cool. You keep it to yourself most of the time. Well, I'll tell you what. If if uh, people get me going on stream, I will 100% talk about... I will go on and on about philosophy and interpretations of, of things and stuff. That's just that's just something. That is an egeism, and that will happen eventually. Uh, simlinking. Yes, you're absolutely right, Timothy. The, it is... The problem is with symlinking. You can see all these arrows. These are symlinked to my big boy drive, uh, my data drive, two terabytes. I've got all this stuff here. So this is my games folder. I've got all my games and all my console ROMs are here. So this is a symlink that just points to that folder. So it's nothing, nothing fancy at all. Any thoughts on Ubuntu Web? I I just heard about it. I haven't. I don't know anything about it. An egism. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, you'll hear a lot of those. <laughs> so, 
Uh, so for starters, you can't, there's no easy way of getting to the home directory, so I have to kind of like swim my way there. Nietzsche was a, uh, Nietzsche or whatever was an existentialist. I, I thought he was, he was an existentialist, but he's a nihilist. I thought, what, what was the philosophy you're into? I also really, really like, um, what's, what is, uh, what's the study of religion from a, um, like just like a pure knowledge perspective, is that just theology, or does theology have like a spiritual faith meaning behind it? I like reading about religions, but not from a spiritual perspective. More of like a, this is a really fascinating look into human psychology perspective. <laughs> we're we're going deep here. We're we're diving really deep. Uh, anth I do like anthropology a lot. I, I think it might be theology. But anyways, so, um, yeah, we're kind of, we're all over the, yeah, from an academic perspective. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's, I like reading about religion from an academic perspective. I, I think it's really fascinating. Uh, so yeah, my games, it can't, the retro arch snap cannot navigate sim links. I know that snaps can, I've tested snaps that can. And I'm guessing that RetroArch is missing an important plug. I would love to figure out what it is and submit a PR to fix it, but maybe I'll do that someday. I don't know. But yeah, it's got to be able to follow Simlinks for me to use it. So because we have that bug, we're going to be using Flatpak. Flatlack? Oh, geez. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's why I typed the L. So was... <sighs> Run org libretro. You can easily install. I, I like I <laughs> I'm the opposite of everybody else. I actually like using containerized apps. I will use Snap first, followed by Flatpak, and then depending on what it is, I will go native or I will go app image. I prefer universal packages. I don't like dicking around with third party PPAs. It's just like I don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay, so let's get a game going, and then we can we can talk a, a bit more about stuff. It's a quarter past ten. What does that mean? It's not eleven, so. Well, I started at nine, so we're an hour and a half in, right? I know how to tell time, I swear. So we'll load the core up, and then we've got aren't aren't snaps third party too? Yes, but they're third party in a different way. Snaps are third party from, I mean, flat packs are too. Like it's the same idea. They're just containerized apps. But the the point of snaps, for, I mean, it's complicated. From a, from a user's perspective, a snap and a flat pack are applications with all of the dependencies baked in, delivered to you at your desktop, so you can use them without have it theoretically without having to install additional libraries or configure anything now as we all know in practice it's a it's a bit more complicated than that but that's the idea and i think that that is a noble idea i think that that is a, a really a cool thing to strive for so let me we're 52 minutes in okay thank you thank you charlie thank you i'm glad that uh i'm glad that somebody can help me figure out the time because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, let's just capture RetroArch and hopefully it won't act all stupid. You guys should be able to see RetroArch now. Okay. Oops. You haven't tried with Snap, but you like flat packs because you can install them outside of root. That I like that too. I really hope that they implement some sort of feature for snaps that make it so users can install applications because I love the idea of user land flat packs. Don't shortchange us. <laughs> All right, let's get this going. Whoa! Holy shit! That was loud. Is the audio okay for you guys? Dude, I just got like kicked in the ear. Oh, that sucked. Yikes. The audio's okay? Okay. I'm, I'm glad you guys didn't have to experience that. Uh, flat packs are designed for desktop Linux. 
Snaps are designed for desktop IoT servers. Apples, it is apples to oranges sometimes. Yeah, I think for a purely desktop perspective, flat packs are are better in many ways. But yeah, there's actually an article that um, Canonical or Ubuntu tweeted about some um, Internet of Things device provider uses snaps to keep all of their all of their devices updated so like if you have a a smart device i, ca I can't think of, a, of, of an example like a light bulb or something it's possible that that light bulb is running ubuntu core and the software is installed through snap there is a very good chance of that flat packs are better than installing dev files oh whoa i've never played this game so, okay. Okay, yeah, the game's pretty loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. If people are saying it's loud, it must be loud. I turned it down by two decibels. The, the S in IoT st uh, stands for security. I thought it stood f Oops! I thought it stood for... Shit! That's what I read anyways. Wow, this game is actually really fun. I'm kind of amazed at how fun this game is. Any, anybody uh, play this game? <laughs> App images are... Uh, do you have Double Dragon or Contra? Yeah, we might we might get there. We won't be able to get, get to those games today. EG does a leak code episode one day. What I don't know what that is. Is that a podcast? I've been on podcasts before. I'd, I'd do it again. Like, not my own. I've been on other people's shows before. It's just a matter of getting time to do it. Under the right, like, circumstances, I guess. It, it's all, it all comes down to time. I, I have this... I have, I've talked about it before. I have a really weird obsession with time. And I, I don't recommend... I don't recommend you be like me and like focus on time so much. That's why I have a fuzzy clock is so that it, it, it takes more brain power to read English words and translate them into numbers and translate those numbers into a unit of time than it does to look at raw numbers and uh, associate that with time. So it's, it's just a, I guess it's a mental health thing. <laughs> I, w I want to be happy and not anxious and stressed, and that is one one method of mine that seems to work pretty well. Yeah, fuzzy clock, like 5 past 10, that's exactly right. Leak code is what new grad software, uh, grad software engineers used to practice whiteboard. Oh, that sucks. They shouldn't have... Dude, whiteboard, whiteboard in interview pro problems need to just go away. They need to just go away. Ugh. There's a smile. There's like two smiley faces on this ship. There's one right there. <laughs> You're too zoomer for this. Well, we'll work our way up the the chain. This is NES. This is pretty old. We'll do, you know, N64. What games did you? What game consoles did you guys play when you were younger? I thought the S in IOT stood for sh <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, I think company just got here. I won't let that bother me. Yeah, it would be cool if, if I did leak code questions. Oh boy. Oops, did it again. Uh, NES and SNES. You had the Wii, Timothy, you had PS1. NES, Dreamcast, GameCube. I like that I'm able to read, like, I'm just looking at chat while playing. I'm not even looking at the game. It seems to be going pretty well. You had PS2 as a kid, you loved the N64, and after that it was over. Uh, leak code streams. Oh man, I'll have to look at what that is to figure out if I could do it. I know that a lot of people really, really want me to do, like, coding videos and stuff again, and, and that's fine. I just, I, I don't have anything scheduled right now. 
I've talked about how challenging those videos are to produce. They're not hard. There's a difference between producing and making. Like, they're not difficult to make. It's just a matter of finding something that I'm good enough to talk about and code at the same time. But the the actual production and editing portion is, is uh, can be really challenging, basically. DOS gaming. DOS gaming! We'll get some DOS games on here. Alright, this, this game is fun. Let's move on to the next one. Whoop. Three D World Runner. What the hell is this? Fun fact: GFTI in the original release means good enough for the industry. Wonderful. Oh, Mitchell, have a, have a good time at work. I hope everything's going well for you. Also, get your GitHub sh page should have a significant number of personal projects. Yeah. It it depends on um you know I've inter when I interview oh, this is cool. Whoa! I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but this is this is NES. Oh, this is so this is weird and cool and just like what am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna make that jump. Uh oh. Wow. This yeah, this is a little bit like Space Harrier, isn't it? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I touch those? No, <laughs> I do not. You liked my GTK development videos? Yeah, I, sh I should get back to that. I really should. Okay, I died again. I like the dude at the... Can you see my mouse cursor? Yeah, look at the dude. He's just like giving a peace sign. Or, you know what he could be doing? He could be giving two middle fingers. Like he could have his uh, both of his arms coming up and, and giving two middle fingers. That's what I think he's doing, actually. He's like, you know what I think of you, gamer? Huh, I'm gonna try this one more time. <laughs> uh, thank you. Is that, uh, is your name Sergey? With that? Oh no, I died again! Okay, that's that was my last try. <laughs> uh, I believe that we played this one on stream load content? What's wrong? What's happening here? EG please. Oh, you don't you didn't like my middle finger joke? Well I liked it. So somebody liked it. GTK is actually pretty easy. You know what's not easy? It's cute. Cute is a pain in the ass, man. It is not good. Actually Farron, what's your what are your thoughts on cute? Like I'm, I'm speaking from from EG's perspective, which, you know, isn't as uh, isn't as experienced as somebody like Farron who actually makes UIs. I just, I, we, we've played this one. It's fine. I, I don't really like it very much. I, I hate games that have one-hit deaths. Those are the worst. <clears throat> Cute scaling detection. Detection. I found my issue with Cute. Is, is styling and getting things... Wow, this game looks bad. What is going on here? Okay. Hello! Oh! Wow, this is madness. This must have been early, early in the NES, huh? So maybe I'll go through and put favorites on the games that I would like to actually try beating on stream. Oh, this game is fucking bad. I'm getting out of here. I'm bailing out. Um, can I favorite this one? I like this game. This was excellent. World Runner was weird. I'll, I would try that again. I will not try Abadox. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Have you guys ever tried Goonies too? <laughs> yes, EG does hate one hits. So, uh, funny pron pronunciation of your name. So I look at the S-U-R and I'm thinking Sir. 
And then AJ Sir Sir J? I don't know. <laughs> you don't like cute because it doesn't play well with rest. Well, select your dragon. What dragon looks cool? The blue one looks pretty all right. Siraj? Serge? I don't know. I, I'm just gonna give up while I'm ahead, or or before I before I die. I don't know. Oh wow! Your first mission, not quest, your first mission is to engage the three white dragon scouts. Okay, let's do it. You know, I'll be honest, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. <laughs> huh. Okay, so you can go up and down. I, I like, it's weird. I didn't do that. He, he came big on his own. I don't, like... I'm guessing size indicates, um... Elevation, but he seems to go up and down on his own. See, I'm doing that, but sometimes he just does it on his own. I don't know. This is really weird. It's because of trees? Passwords in games? Yes! Oh, he goes up because of the trees! Okay, okay. Have you played this game before? Like, this is, this is kinda cool. <laughs> this... Oh, okay. I when you hit trees, you take damage. I mean, this is okay. You rented it once. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, that's that's really cool. Oh, now I'm a different dragon. Wow. The fireballs don't kill that guy. <laughs> okay. This is really freaking weird. Uh, I I kind of I do kind of like it. Let's see what Pool of Radiance is all about. What the hell's going on? Maybe my controller is jacked up. I'm not trying to do that. The electron is quite heavy. It's so easy to write apps with it though. Character? Do we have to create a character? Oh man, uh, we'll do this another time. That that's too much. You'd rather make a Vala app? I like the idea of writing the UI di separately from. I mean, can you design a UI in CSS and a, and have a Vala app use it? It seems like it seems like all the. All of the Vala apps I see have um, the styling and everything baked right into the code. I, that that feels dirty to me. Like the the view layer and the logic layer are two different things. I think that that's my uh, web developer talking though. <laughs> okay. Lolo and Lala. No, you would do that with Glade. The UI then the core data should be separate. Yeah, that's 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 how I do it. That's that's how I think of it, anyways. All right, Farron, you seem to know how to play this. What do I? What am I doing here? What do I do? Why is that pickle watching me? I don't know what to do. You would hate React. I do. I hate React. I hate React and Vue. I hate all that nonsense. You liked your distro review episode? You watched almost all of them? Because of me, you use more Linux. Good. That's great. I hope that Linux, Linux is working for you. Okay, I don't know what to do at all. I just died. <laughs> what, what do I do? To be honest, you only know the Origins game is for Kirby bosses. Angular. 
I haven't used the latest Angular. I've used Angular 1 or 2 or something. Is that Pickle Rick? No, I think it's Shit Pickle. <laughs> what do I prefer then? Just HTML and CSS. I don't I just I don't know what I did. But he's gone now, so I guess I'll move on. Oh, he's back. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right, let's move on to the next one. You probably collect the boxes. Oh, this looks pretty good. Oh, it's a Hudson Soft game. It's got to be good. Um, to answer the question about my preferred web framework, I actually like Ember, Ember.js. But um, Ember uses handlebars, which is uh, like mustache. But that's my that's my style. I don't I don't really do web stuff anymore though, thankfully. So like the EGIO website and the EGXYZ website are they're just HTML and CSS using a Node.js uh, pipeline. But they were they were originally. <laughs> are you serious? What the hell is happening here? This is awesome. Look how simple this game is. It's all it's all just art. Like you jump, you move, you throw whatever that is. Now I'm on an, an alien of some kind. Is this uh Stitch? I think this is Stitch on these blue. You guys ever seen that that movie? Uh, really obscure. wasn't It wasn't very popular. I think it was called Lilo and Stitch or something. Choose an egg. This is fantastic. Puffin, you can't create a UI to save my life. You know what? I can I can critique UIs all day, but I cannot design them. <laughs> I will talk mad smack about how bad a UI is, while also admitting that I can't design anything better. Oh, I see, it's like Mario Brother controls. I mean, this is, like... Th this, is a, this is a little too simple. I'm just spamming the attack button. <laughs> like, there's... Oh, and then I died. Okay, okay. I like this. That's a good one. I will remember that. That was Adventure Island. Uh-oh. How do I make it a favorite? Do I have to close it? Yeah. I I'm not going to play the sequels. If I like a game, I'm sure Adventure Island's fine. Let's try uh, Lolo again. Lolo 3. Oh, this is Hal. You haven't played it, it's a gym. That's why I'm going through these. I'm really excited to do it with you guys. You beat Adventure Island 1, 2, and 3. Well, this is another one of those games. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Level 2? Oh no, it's the same stuff. Alright, I'm, I'm going to move on. Airwolf. How many of you guys in chat remember Teen Wolf? You ever seen that movie? <laughs> Look at this guy. What's with the blue specs he's got right here on his head? I know the routine. Okay. You prefer Knight Rider? Oh! Oh, this is really, really weird. <laughs> this game seems fine. It's not for me. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button and going back. What is this, Alfred Chicken? This looks like... fun. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? Has anybody seen this before? Like, anybody ever? And I'm dead. Is this a homebrew? E.g., you cannot play this game. It's a conflict of interest. Okay. Why is this a conflict of interest? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, you rented this game, but you didn't like it? To be... I'm not gonna... I actually kind of like it. I'm kind of digging this. It's really weird but I kind of dig it this is so fucking weird look at this what is even happening Wait, you remember renting this, so this isn't a homebrew, then. <laughs> I don't know what to even say. Can I kill that? Okay, we can ride it. You're gonna eat the chicken? Okay. Oh no, is it echoed? I thought we fixed that. Don't start stay saying stuff like that. I'm going to favorite that because that was actually pretty fun. It's just the game is a little echo. Oh. A movie game by LJN. Level one mission, three tries. Oh my god. Oh no. Look how bad this looks. I'm astonished at how bad she, this is just terrible. I, look, I can't go any further, it just stops. And she outruns the screen, like, this is so bad. I am stunned at how bad this is. And I'm dead. When did, the, when did this game come out? There's ladders going down. Alien 3 is the only... Uh, you like this game? I mean, I, I guess it plays okay, it's just... God, oh, this is so ugly! Okay, now I'm out of ammo. Did I really just fall down the stairs? What, these aren't even stairs, like, what are they? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is terrible, you didn't dislike it. Okay, that's enough of this game. Wow! We're gonna play some American Gladiators. In the 80s and 90s, everything was just America, America... American Gladiators. Like, what, what, like, what even is this? Look at this guy. I hate to lose, so I never do. <laughs> oh, man. I hate to lose, so I never do.
Okay, it's just timing. What, like, it might... <laughs> oh, I'm slowly pushing him off, actually. I like how old NES games use ladders to work around the limitations of scrolling <laughs> up and right. <laughs> That's going to be your stack overflow bio. <laughs> Where do I get this stuff? I don't know. I found it. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> it lifts us up. I, I can't hit this guy. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm not playing this game because I don't like losing. I'm not going to accept that. Grunting Sounds Simulator. Oh, man. Okay. This appears to be a sports game. Vinny, Ty, uh, Tyrone, Vinny. Let's get the guy with glasses. Lewis? I guess he has glasses, too. He's the first guy I saw. It looks like he's got goggles on. Oh, now they now they look like 3D glasses. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. The British Knights, BK. Oh, don't give the ball to me. Oh, you just punched me. Okay, we want to turn this into a fighting simulator. I'm just gonna jump around like an asshole. I don't know. Wow, that was a quite the shot. Oh, I just got punched again. That's not helpful, sharing. Your kids tell you that sharing is caring. I just got punched again. Oh, now the ref is getting involved. Watch I make it, that'd be so funny. <laughs> My guy's just jumping around like... <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> I'm just like decking those guys. Oh! I just, he fucking fell! He did a slam dunk and then he fell. <laughs> oh, oh my god. This is a good one. I'm gonna favorite that. No, no, not that. That's actually really good. Arch rival. Oh, a basket brawl! I see. Okay. Yeah. E.G., if you would have just, you know, read the title, you would have known what you're getting yourself into. Okay, can you guys look up how to full screen? Uh-oh, why is it buffering? Can you look up how to full screen this so that I have I can stop? It's probably one of the F keys, but I don't I don't know. I stopped it just before scoring. Sorry about that. Arkanoid. You guys ever play this one? What? I can't move. Your cousin had this on the MSX2? Okay, so I can't move. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, this is messed up. Oh well. Not really interested in that anyway. You played Arkanoid with hours. For hours you played that game. This is weird. Is this, uh, Castlevania? He's got a power meter. <laughs> okay, that's really weird. Oh, respawning enemies, those are fun. Terrence, Terrence, watching EG streams like you've time-traveled back to your childhood. I know, this is really fun. 
Have you played this one, or are you just like NES games? This is weird. I'm not liking it very much. Alright. I guess I can't... Oh, good! That's fun! Yeah. You know, have an enemy pop up right when you need to jump. That's always cool. Music isn't bad. I don't know how you get those flying things. You just spam attack or something? Maybe. Oh, come on. The respawning enemies, it's too much. He's just going to follow me? <laughs> this isn't good at all. Dude, <laughs> this is not good. Okay, the flying jellyfish is too much. Get him out of here. There. I don't know what I did, but he's gone now. Oh, the graphics are so bad, I can't even... I He appears to be a skeleton. I'm not even 100% sure about that. Why am why do I have a sword now? Where'd my where'd my axe go? I will say that you have a ton of health. How do I use a special? There we go. Oh, and he's back. Dude, this is bad. What are we playing? Well, we spent about an hour screwing around with gnome and customizing it, and now we're just going through NES games. Why does your character turn invisible? Because this game isn't very good. <laughs> I have to kill this, like, what, I think it's supposed to be an eyeball, but it's so, like, the graphics are so bad, it just kind of looks like a jellyfish. Oh, come on. Special. Oh, bust your kneecaps out. There we go. This is really bad. <laughs> what is this? Oh, his head comes off? Oh, we just fought a boss. Okay. This is just a timing thing. I could probably do it. Oh, then, there, then he shoots a fireball. And now I'm dead. Yeah, this, this is bad. That game is bad. Oh, man. Let's play a game called Bad Dudes. Since since the game is 60 frames and the stream's only 30, you see every other frame. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Interesting. All right, let's play uh, Double Dragon, <laughs> Double Dragon Clone. Who who do we want to be? Do we want to see Blade or do we want to see Striker? Let's go with the Luigi option here. Now we've got Guile or Duke Nukem. So EG doesn't see the invisible guy. I see him flash when he takes damage. The president has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude? <laughs> Could somebody please take a screenshot of this and post it to Twitter and tag me in it? Okay, so, uh, B and A are swapped. That's fun. We're already off to a good start. I'm, I'm not, like, this actually isn't that bad. It's a lot like Kung Fu. I, this might have been early in the NES's, you know, lifespan. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That plot. Oh, I'll just run from you guys. Look at the look at the truck. It's just dudes. <laughs> okay, bad enough, dude. <clears throat> the president has been kidnapped by ninjas. Uh oh. 
Oh my god, look, he looks up when I push up. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. Is that a one-hit death, or was I almost dead? Can you tell what the strategy is? <laughs> this game isn't bad at all. <laughs> it's kind of a joke, but... we go. <laughs> this is really good. You tagged it. Thank you. Thank you for that. This is some World War II propaganda. What, bad dudes? Oh my god. Uh, this. <laughs> I want to keep playing it. I like that that dude fell. Can I go down there though? Oh shit. Oh, how do I get back up? I want the weapon. Oh, I, okay. Oh, is this just non-stop enemies? I like his fighting stance. It's very professional. The tweet is taken care of. Are you a bad enough dude? Oh, now we're slowly moving. Who made this game? This is surprisingly good. Oops, I keep pushing the wrong button. Oh, this is Data East. That explains it. They make really good games. Balloon fight? You think you guys think this is going to be like Joust? Balloon trip? It, it is Joust. Well, hold on. I want to see what a balloon trip is. How do I... Oh. Uh, hold on. Hey, whoa, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> I just went for a trip right into some animal's mouth. Oh, okay. Don't don't go for those. Deck hunt esque. Oh, I see. He's got like velocity. Oh. Okay, this is awesome. This is a this is very very good. Why don't they make simple games like this anymore? Everything's got to be big and a lot of graphics, really complicated. Why can't, like, what's wrong with it just being really simple? Imagine what they were, imagine, like, the meeting that they had when they designed this game. All right, so here's an idea. We've got a couple of guys. Let's attach balloons to them. Oh. And they fly by flapping their arms. Aren't the simpler games called indie games? To be honest, I don't like the vast majority of indie games I see. I think they, they, they basically just try too hard. Like, hey, let's, let's have this really ups just insane, you know, like character story or something. And I, they just bug me. Like, this is, this is so simple. There's no story. Like, there's, there's no need for a story, you know? This is just, like, what what is happening here? Oh, you're dead. I did it! Arnav, you gotta go. Rajesh, it was good having you here. This has been a lot of fun. Bat baseball stars. Any of you guys like baseball? This makes you want to play some old Flash games. <clears throat> Ever played Terraria? You bet. Not very good at it, though. I'm, I'm just going to skip this. I'm, I'm not really into baseball games and stuff. I'll play baseball IRL, but I don't want to play it on a, on a computer console or whatever. I love baseball. One of my favorite... Might be my favorite sport. I don't know soccer or football everywhere else it's known is one of my favorites too 
Batman Return of the Joker. Oh, wow. Is that his attack? Does he have ammo? What? Why is he doing that? Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Oh, I lost the power up, so. How would you know those are going to be there? Oh, that's really weird. Why does he look up? Like, this is okay, but it's not very inspired, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not very original. I don't know, this is kind of lame. Just for like a platformer, this is... it's not... I, I just don't like it. Oops. No, don't rename it. Batman the video game. Is this the classic Batman? Parallax scroll. It Was it doing it there? Was it? Did we see some parallax scrolling? You've never played baseball, no one here plays baseball. Nobody even knows how to play it. Somebody tosses a ball at you, and you hit it with a stick. There you go. That's it. That's baseball. And it's really fun. It's it's a little it's a little unnerving for the person throwing the ball, not gonna lie. But hitting the ball is so fun. So I know this game is a classic, but I've I've uh, I've never actually played it. Okay. You get that, but the scoring? Oh, I don't know the scoring. I just like to hit hit the ball. I'll throw it for somebody if that means that I get to hit it next. Yeah, there's nothing nothing quite like hitting a hitting a baseball. Like hitting it well. Like you can hit it or graze it so that you know it like goes all over the place, but when you hit a baseball, like right on right on the tip of the bat and it, it there's there's nothing quite like that. Uh, this is this is fine. To be honest, it's not not my style at all. But it, I, I can see why people like it. But it's not my thing. This is the good Batman game. Select changes your weapon. The Battle of Mount Olympus. Who, 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 what? Who made this game? Did I ever go to university? I, I never did. I never went to university or college or anything like that. This is by Broderbund Software. You play cricket, so yeah, same 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 sort of feeling when you hit the ball. Just just bam. It's good. I need to do that again sometime soon. This is Broderbund Broderbund by Imag an Imagineer in Infinity. Hero name and here her what? I don't sure. We're going to Acadia. Arcadia. Oh, this is kind of cute. You'd rather kick the ball? That works, too. First... Zero! <laughs> okay. Well, let's go meet Zeus. Okay. You guys sure the music isn't too loud? This This music is kind of obnoxious. There is a legend about a, a man who can control fire by... Okay. <laughs> How did you get into DevOps? You should listen to my podcast. I talk all about it there. Somebody's messaging me? No? Okay. Um, I got, It was a really good opportunity that presented itself, and I went for it. Is basically it. I had, I had no... 
no knowledge of DevOps really before I got into it. I hadn't really done it, but I was in a really good position to pick it up, so I did. And then I, it was like to 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 give you a perspective of of how how a career like how it all works. Like I was doing QA for probably. Oh, I love enemies that are on the ground that you can't get. Those are awesome. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, and he jumps when I do? That's cool. Are you kidding me? Oh, and then you have to crouch to pick stuff up. So I was doing QA for probably six years before I got into DevOps. All right, why does he have a spear in his head? All right, we're done with this. Battle toads. So yeah, going back to that, um, I was doing software QA for probably five or six years before an opportunity presented itself to me to get into infrastructure. And I was interested in the Linux portion of it. It wasn't, I wasn't really looking at the cloud or servers or anything, it was like, this is a Linux project, and I was like, Linux, you say? I know a thing or two about Linux. So I dove in, and that's what led me down this path. You know what? We've been going for almost two hours. I think that we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here pretty soon. Oh my gosh, this is really weird. I don't know how to play this. How do you how do you kill these guys? Am I dead? Okay. <laughs> Void Linux gone from the distance because there's no installer for it. As far as I know, it's one of those uh, distros that you have to. Uh, like install from a CLI and stuff. And that's not. I don't do. I don't do distro delves episodes for stuff like that. It just doesn't work. All right, I got a pipe. Oh, there we now. Now we're talking. I was looking at Bedrock's Bedrock Linux too, and I didn't see an installer for that. But then somebody said that it uses Calamares, so I don't know. I mean, honestly, this is pretty good. I'm dead. Is this Pepe the Frog? It is. This is where Pepe the Frog started. It was Battletoads. That's not true. Battletoads Double Dragon? Is this a homebrew, or is this, like, a legit thing? It appears to be a legit thing, because there's licenses. What? It's legit. Rash, Zitz, Pimple, Billy, or Bimmy. You guys played a lot of it. I'm going to be Pimple. Pimple is the uh, Wario. Tale of the Rat Ship. A Bobo? What is a Bobo doing here? Pimple was your name in, in high school. It's not a, not a very good name. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, what just happened? I fall? Oh, the perspective is really weird. I want, I don't know how to get that one up. Oh, I got it. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh my god! I keep falling off the back somehow, I don't know how. <laughs> he just smashes it. This is so good. 
EO EOL distro? What's that? End of life distro? This is good. I like it. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Isn't this an LJN game? Designed and programmed by Rocket Science Productions. Wow. I mean, at least you can recognize them, but that doesn't look good. You like Linux and stuff, but when you look at certifications, it scares you. Oh, on an end-of-life distro. I see what you're saying now, dim dog. They mean like a, a, a distro that is no longer supported. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, this is, this is too much work. Why am I putting numbers into a phone? I guess because it's Bill and Ted. <laughs> but still. Konami made a NASCAR? Like a racing game? Oh, this looks... <laughs> this looks just fine. Are these NES games? They are. These are absolutely NES games. Oh, now I'm on the road. Oh, I hit the brake. Whoops. Wow. Okay. This is surprisingly good for what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. For a first-person racing game on NES, this is incredible. If I could catch up with people. This guy is very nearsighted. I can't even see what's going on up there. I'm going 180 miles an hour. It's re This is really good. This is surprisingly good. Like the controls are. I'd like to catch up with somebody. I guess they don't do handicaps. Uh, it's it's fine, like it's good, but it, it, this isn't my style of game. Bionic Commando is this the game that has the grappling hook? Is this the grappling hook game? <laughs> Captain, it's from headquarters. Go on. <laughs> oh boy, Super Joe. We rely on you. Oh! Maybe this isn't the game I thought it was. What the hell? Please instruct us to send transfer. Oh no, this is, this is it. Yeah, this is, yeah, there it is. Oh, I didn't realize that he couldn't jump at all. This is really freaking weird. Oh, one hit deaths? Okay. Isn't this game supposed to be a classic? Like, I'm not super impressed with it at all. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay. Oh, I made it to the computer. Communicate or wiretapping? Well, it's wiretap. What is... I don't know what's going on. This game looks like it could be cool. 
Oh, I'm back here again. Okay, let's communicate. This is just like mission update, I guess. Oh, respawning enemies? Oh, of course there's a pit there. Oh, and you can't move while you're in the air? I don't know. I don't know if this game is that good. I'd play it again, I think, but... I don't know. Alright. You know what? I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Save you guys from the black screen. For those that didn't see it, this is Ubuntu. Oh, this is uh, probably going to be my backup. I don't know. I think I'll use it over the weekend before I decide whether or not I'm going to stick with it. But I need I need Ubuntu, if nothing else, just to fall back on in case KDE has issues. It's not bad, especially when you add extensions to make it more usable and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. All right. I've got some outdoorsy stuff that I got to do today, and now I've got to give my voice time to recover from talking for two hours. But it's been fun to have all of you. It's always a blast. Chat's always fun to interact with. You guys are always great. And the next Distro Delves episode is probably going to be Monday because it is a very big one, and it's taking me a long time to capture the footage. And uh, if there's any question why I don't make videos like this upcoming one, it's because they take so long to produce. But yeah, so it'll be good. You guys are going to like it. It's well worth the wait, I promise. And I will see you again on stream next Saturday. Have a great weekend, everybody.